Code Lyoko is a French animated television series created by Thomas Roman and Tanya Palumbo and produced by the Moonscoop Group. The series centers on a group of teenagers who travel to the virtual world of Lyoko to battle against a malignant artificial intelligence known as XANA who threatens Earth. The scenes in the real world are presented in 2D hand-drawn animation, while the scenes in Lyoko are presented in CGI animation. The series began its first run with 95 episodes on 3 September 2003, on France's France 3, and ended its run on 10 November 2007. It started airing in the United States on 19 April 2004 on Cartoon Network. The show later spawned a live-action, CGI series Code Lyoko, Evolution, which began at the end of 2012. It kept the 3D computer animation style while it focused on Lyoko, the digital C and the Cortex, while live action for the real world. Between 2004 and 2007, Code Lyoko aired every day on Cartoon Network, in the Miguzi programming block, at 5.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time, sometimes showing two episodes consecutively, in the cases of season finales. On 31 May 2011, the Moonscoop Group announced on its Facebook page that the show would return for a fifth season, this was partially due to a large dedicated fan base. The season consists of 26 episodes, as well as containing a mixture of live action and CGI. The show was then renamed Code Lyoko, Evolution, and premiered 19 December 2012. It. Concluded. In 2013 but has no proper ending, as it ended on a cliffhanger. Topic. Plot Topic. Jeremy Belpois, an 11-year-old boy genuous attending boarding school at Kadic Academy, discovers a quantum supercomputer in an abandoned factory near his school. Upon activating it, he discovers a virtual world called Lyoko with a young girl, Elita, trapped inside it. A series of bizarre, dangerous events begin to occur at Kadic Academy shortly after the supercomputer was activated, and Jeremy learns of XANA, a fully autonomous, malevolent, and highly intelligent multi-agent system, that also dwells within the supercomputer, which caused the perilous disturbances. XANA's primary directive is to destroy Lyoko, and conquer the real world and all human beings. Throughout the first season, Jeremy works to materialize Alita from her virtual form and stop attacks in the real world caused by XANA. Jeremy is aided by his three friends Odd Della Rabia, Ulrich Stern, and Yumi Ishiyama, who call themselves the Lyoko Warriors, as they are virtualized into Lyoko in order to save both worlds from the sinister virtual entity alongside Alita. They achieve this by escorting Alita to various towers on Lyoko, which serve as interface terminals between Lyoko and Earth, and having her deactivate the one that XANA is using to access the real world, which causes the program to go temporarily dormant. Once the tower is deactivated, the Jeremy is able to launch a return to the past program, which sends anyone scanned into the supercomputer's memory back in time to undo any damage caused by XANA, except for any deaths caused by the attack. In Code Earth, Alita is finally materialized, but the group discovers that XANA had planted a virus inside Alita, which prevents them from shutting down the supercomputer, as Alita shuts down along with it. The second season focuses more on the Lyoko warriors as Alita adjusts to life in the real world while Jeremy attempts to develop an antivirus program for Alita. In Lyoko, a fifth sector is discovered and the group explores more of Lyoko's secrets and mysteries, especially concerning a mysterious man named Franz Hopper, who went missing ten years ago, supposedly created the supercomputer, Lyoko, and XANA. And turns out to be Alita's biological father. The group eventually discovers that Hopper is alive, hiding somewhere in Lyoko to avoid XANA. All the while, XANA attempts to steal Alita memory in order to gain the keys to Lyoko and free itself. At the end of the season, Alita and Jeremy discover that Alita does not have a virus, and instead is missing a fragment of hers, which consists of her lost memories. In The Key, XANA tricks them with a fake fragment and succeeds in stealing Alita's memory and escaping the supercomputer into the World Wide Web, which exists in the digital sea outside of Lyoko. Alita appears to die as a result, but is revived when Franz Hopper gives her his keys to Lyoko, and she has the memories of her former life restored. 
In the third season, XANA changes tactics by destroying each of Lyoko's surface sectors one by one, until only Carthage, the fifth sector, is left. The Lyoko warriors invite William Dunbar as a member, but shortly after being virtualized, he is possessed by XANA through a special monster known as the Cyphozoa. Shortly after, he destroys the core of Lyoko, destroying the virtual world and rendering the group helpless against XANA. After what they thought was their defeat, Jeremy receives a coded message from Franz Hopper that allows him to recreate Lyoko and continue the fight against XANA. At the beginning of the fourth season, the Lyoko warriors construct a digital submarine, the Skidbladner, commonly referred to as the Skid, to travel across the digital sea to destroy XANA's replicas, which are copies of Lyoko. S sectors that are linked to XANA controlled supercomputers on Earth, all created for its goal of world domination. XANA uses William as its general throughout the season to defend the replicas, and sabotage the Lyoko warriors in any way he can. To prevent suspicion regarding William's disappearance, Jeremy uses a voice synthesizer program in the supercomputer to pose as William's father in a phone call and inform Kadic. S headmaster that William has been brought home with the flu. He also manages to program a specter to take William's place at Kadic, although the clone has very low-level intelligence and acts very moronic. Near the end of the season, XANA decides to draw energy from all of its replicas to create the Colossus, a gigantic, seemingly invincible monster that later destroys the Skidbladner. Before it is destroyed, Jeremy frees William from XANA's control. After he returned, he had a difficult time gaining the trust of the group. While Ulrich defeats the Colossus, Franz Hopper sacrifices himself in order to power Jeremy's anti-XANA program, which destroys XANA upon activation. Shortly after, the group, albeit reluctant due to their nostalgia, decides to shut down the supercomputer. Episodes. Topic. Topic. Characters. Topic. Topic. Main. Topic. Jeremy Belpois, voiced by Sharon Mann. Elita Sheffer, voiced by Sharon Mann. Odd Della Rabia, voiced by Matthew Jaishi. Ulrich Stern, voiced by Barbara Weber Scaff. Yumi Ishiyama, voiced by Morable Kirkland. William Dunbar and XANA, voiced by David Gassman. Topic. Recurring. Topic. Nicholas Polakov. Herb. Sissy Delmas. Jim Morales. Jean Pierre Delmas. Millie and Tamiya Topic Supporting Topic Talia The Girl of the Dreams Samantha Knight Rock Bottom and Final Round Waldo Franz Schaeffer Franz Hopper Anthea Hopper Schaeffer Takeo Ishiyama Akio Ishiyama Hiroki Ishiyama, Mr. Stern, three episodes, Mrs. Stern, Zero Gravity Zone, and Distant Memory, Michael Belpois, Franz Hopper, and Distant Memory, Mr. and Mrs. Della Rabia, Bad Connection. Topic Development. Topic. Topic Origins Topic Code Lyoko originates from the film Short Les Enfants Font Leur Cinema, The Children Make Their Movies, directed by Thomas Roman and produced by a group of students from Parisian visual arts school Gobelin's School of the Image. Roman worked with Tanya Palumbo, Stanislas Brunet, and Jerome Cotre to create the film, which was screened at the 2000 Annecy International Animated Film Festival. French animation company Antifilms offered Roman and Palumbo a contract as a result of the film. 
This led to the development of the pilot, Garage Kids. Garage Kids was first released in 2001. The project was created by Palumbo, Roman, and Carlo de Boutigny and developed by Anne de Gillard. Its producers were Eric Garnett, Nicholas Atlan, Benoit Di Sabatino, and Christophe Di Sabatino. The project was produced by Antifilms. Similar to its succeeding show Code Lyoko, Garage Kids was originally intended to be a 26-episode miniseries detailing the lives of four French boarding school students who discover the secret of the virtual world of Xanadu, created by a research group headed by a character known as the Professor. The pilot featured both traditional animation and CGI. Garage Kids evolved into Code Lyoko, which began broadcast in 2003, with the virtual world renamed to Lyoko. Roman, however, left the show to work on the Japanese anime series Oban Star Racers. The factory and boarding school are based on real locations in France. The factory was based on a Renault production plant in Boulogne Billancourt, which has since been demolished. The school, Cadic Academy, is based on Lycée Lacanal in So. Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Broadcast. Topic <inaudible> In the United States, the series premiered on the 19th of April 2004 on Cartoon Network. The second season started on the 19th of September 2005. The two-part Xana Awakens prequel aired on 2-3 October 2006, and the third season started a day later on 4 October 2006. The fourth and final season began on 18 May 2007. The last episode aired on Cartoon Network was, Cousins Once Removed, and the remaining seven episodes were released online. Since 2007, the show began airing on Kabillion until 2015. The show also aired in Latin America and Japan on Jetix. Since 2015, all of the episodes aired in English including the prequel Xana Awakens are currently viewable via YouTube. In Italy the show was airing on Disney Channel and published on DVD by Delta Pictures under the label 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. Topic. Accolades Topic. The series received mostly positive reviews. Code Lyoko was voted as the best show by Canal J viewers in France, and has achieved international fame as well. The show has been rated as one of the best shows on Cartoon Network and Kabillion in the United States, with Cartoon Network having it rated as the number three best performing show in 2006 and Kabillion having it as number four in monthly average views in 2010. The show has reached success in Spain as one of Clan TVE highest rated shows, on Italy's Rai 2 network, and in Finland and the United Kingdom as well. The show also won France's Prix de l'Export 2006 award for animation in December 2006. Merchandise <inaudible> 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 Several Code Lyoko products have been released, including DVDs, a series of cine manga by Tokyopop, a series of four novels by Italian publisher Atlantica Entertainment, apparel and other accessories. In 2006, Marvel Toys released a line of Code Lyoko toys and action figures. The Game Factory has released three video games based on the show, Code Lyoko and Code Lyoko, Fall of XANA for the Nintendo DS, and Code Lyoko, Quest for Infinity for the Wii, PSP, and PlayStation 2. There have been other games released through various mediums, one being Facebook, a series of clan TVE festivals in Spain included live stage shows based on Code Lyoko among other things. A game show known as Code Lyoko Challenge was planned to be released in late 2012, but fell through. In January 2011, all four seasons of Code Lyoko were released on iTunes in the US and in France by Moonscoop Holdings, although as of July 2017 only season 4 volumes 1 and 2 are available and other seasons have been removed. In October 2011, all four seasons were released on Amazon Instant Streaming and via DVD in the same countries, however these DVDs are now out of print and extremely difficult to find. On 6 August 2012, all four seasons were made available on Netflix DVD and Instant Watch. Topic. Book series Topic. A series of four-chapter books was released by Atlantica Entertainment and distributed in Italy and other countries. 
The novels delve deeper into the unanswered questions of the series. Taking place after the end of the series, XANA has miraculously survived and returns, though weakened and initially missing its memories. XANA possesses Eva Skinner, an American girl, and travels to France in order to infiltrate the gang and kill them off. Unaware of their enemy's presence, the group works to find clues about Alita. S. Past, left by her father Franz Hopper, and confirm whether or not her mother is still alive somewhere. But at the same time, a terrorist group, the Green Phoenix, has become interested in supercomputer and intend to use both it and the virtual world of Lyoko for evil purposes. It was confirmed that the series will never be released officially in English, nor the final two books released in French. However, some time later, a fan community came together and sought to not only finish the series but translate it into more languages, including English. They have since completed their work and made it available for free download in September 2014. See also Topic List of French animated television series List of French television series Tron Gridman the Hyper Agent Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad Digimon Adventure Zix Reboot, The Guardian Code Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Code Lyoko on IMDb Code Lyoko at TV. Com. Code Lyoko on YouTube Topic. References Topic.